Alrighty. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Happy Christmas Eve, Eve. I'm Dark Side Phil, and I welcome you to my gameplay stream for the day. Although, let's be honest here, this stream will be a lot less about focusing on gameplay and a lot more about just having a good time. Being chill, being fun, being merry, interacting, and, and just having a really, in general, fun day. Whoa, the camera. <laughs> I'm just doing Mary. Oops, the camera's like way off. Hello, everybody. As we are here, everyone, I've already begun with my holiday drinking festivities as I said I would. The whole point of today's stream is to be chill and have fun and be merry. It's not about serious gameplay. It's not about, oh my god, I have to win matches in Street Fighter or I have to make serious advancement in a game that I'm playing. It's more about just dicking around and having fun. You know what I mean? <clears throat> as you can see, I'm already dressed up in my holiday attire. This is my dragon sweater that i have for the holidays and i do have other things in store for you guys as well later on in the stream uh that i will be doing so it's gonna be a fun chill stream with a holiday vibe wow ladies and gentlemen welcome back to god hand yeah it's a god hand god hand can you believe i'm playing god hand again what the hell uh God damn it. I'm dodging. This is a terrible game. It really is. It's so bad. It's so bad. It, this, they should remake this game with a modern engine. It would actually be pretty good. I think I like. I don't. I don't dislike the the actual atmosphere of the game and the premise and the combat itself. It just needs much better controls. The control the, the camera is absolutely terrible. You take way too much damage, and the dodge is garbage. The dodge isn't a real dodge. You get hit out of it all the time. So they're gonna improve those three things. It's gonna be great. I like a remastered version of the game that actually plays like a real, a modern game. Fuck this. That's it for this game. Let's do something else. Seriously, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna pound this. We're gonna finish this. All right, Santa's butt. Thumbs up. All right, Home Alone 2 lost in New York on Sega Genesis. Last year I played Home Alone 1, and this year I'm going to try Home Alone 2 and see how this goes. What the fuck? This game is weird, man. That was a sound effect they chose for that? Okay. I gotta take a drink of Bad Santa after that. I'm just going to ignore stupid tips. Like this person asked me if I'm going to collaborate with Soldier Boy. I... <laughs> no Windmill Meister. I've never heard of Etika. Never heard of this person before. Never, not once. I don't know anything about popular streamers on freaking Twitch. Oh no. This game's pretty tough. It's pretty tough, man. Integrate Superstar says, I look chill. How many beers have I had? This is only my second, but I had an eggnog beforehand. And keep in mind, this beer is more alcoholic than normal beer. This one's like 7.5%, I think. Fusion has stopped working. You've got to be kidding me. I went save, make a save state. The, the fucking thing crashed. I'm fucked. I'm completely fucked. Any Chris uh, Superstar says, when is the next break? I've been holding in a poop. What the hell? Any Chris Superstar says, how am I buzzed after two beers? I thought you said you enjoyed gin after every stream. No, I never said that. You're an asshole. <laughs> I don't drink all the time. I've said this many times. But people are just fucking assholes who want to believe what they want to believe. 
You are a dumb ass if you think that I drink every single stream. That's right, Antichrist Superstar. Calling you an asshole is very festive. That's correct. Guys, apparently you've become incredibly touchy now. Okay, I fucked up. Mr. Dobbs would be a dollar because I hate this game. Dang damn it. Okay, then. He hates the game. Dang damn it. I have no idea what to do, man. I have no idea. This sucks. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Most people are saying they're not enjoying the game, so. All right. Finally, a fight is coming my way. I've been waiting almost too long. I did a Hail Mary show you can, which is immediately punished. Then immediate attack, which I cannot stuff because this game is terrible. Golden Nobles has done a 50-bit cheer and says, drink, 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 drink. Then indeed, I shall drink more of my cranberry tart ale here. Yes. Oh, look. All meaties, all safe, all complete nonsense in high-level Street Fighter play. However, Street Fighter V does not cater to high-level play. It caters to scrubs. And then a, ga a complete guess, knowing that if I had blocked, I would have completely punished, but a guess to try to win the round. The game really rewards terrible guessing gameplay, and the game is terrible, which is why I hate it. It really is a shame that Street Fighter V really does not focus on any kind of skill but instead just about cheesy gimmicks and safe moves. Uh, that really is the story of Street Fighter V. It is it's completely safe anti-airs, completely safe meaties, completely safe moves that are not punishable, and doing them ad nauseum. A nice frame-skipping victory for the man performed absolutely nothing impressive. <sighs> As usual, a loss to terrible gameplay and bad online connection. It's just slow, boring, fucking bad connections, same meaties, same anti- It's the same sh The game sucks, man. I seriously can't do it anymore. I did it for an hour. I can't even be Bob Ross anymore. I'm so fucking bored. I'm so bored by this game. I <laughs> the game sucks so hard, man. I can't, I can't do it. I can't even be Bob Ross playing this game anymore. I can't. Any other game, I could probably keep being Bob Ross. I can't do it in this game. This game sucks so bad. Oh, this game sucks. It's just so unfun. It's the most, un it's so boring. When I actually get into it, I get bored. I want to go to sleep playing this fucking game. It's nothing like a valid or fun fighting game. It's just so boring. All right, everyone, we're going to attempt... Some H1Z1. Ugh, 56 people. Ugh, so I gotta wake up. This is, I shouldn't have drank today. I don't think I'm gonna drink anymore on stream. I'm serious. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna do it again. There's no point to it. It makes me tired. It makes me tired and it gets me down. It makes me disappointed when, like, things don't go perfectly right. Like, what's the point? Back in the day, I would have this giant glass of rum and coke. And I would drink and do stupid shit in games. I don't do that anymore. My playthroughs, I, I actually... I don't take it for granted anymore. I don't act like it's a joke. You know, when I play games, I want to entertain you guys and have fun and hang out with you. I don't want to be acting like a dick or do, screwing up in games or, you know, feeling down because I'm drinking when I'm playing. I don't think I should do it anymore. <clears throat> like, last year it was a big gimmick. Phil's going to drink during the holiday stream. It's so cool because, he you know, he hasn't drank on stream in a million years or whatever. I honestly don't think that I should do it anymore. I don't think it's a bit it's a gimmick that's worth worth bothering with. <laughs> New York Hustler says you don't have to be serious all the time. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm trying to be super serious. I'm saying that like I'm trying to put out a fun holiday stream for people and people were like, wow, this stream really sucks and nothing is fun on this stream. And you know, I'm like, damn. That's a downer. If anything, that's a downer. I'm trying to put out a fun holiday stream for people who tell me I suck and the stream is terrible. Like, damn, you know, obviously I'm doing something wrong. I should be playing games that we can interact and have fun with then instead of these shitty ones. Yeah, get blasted and flip out. Yeah, and then get banned from Twitch. <laughs> Great idea. Get completely sloshed on stream, act like a complete and utter asshole, and get banned from Twitch completely. <laughs> Sounds good. How about no? 
All right, so Swaggin said, I think there should be a healthy balance during marathons. A lot of us come here for you, but it's the games that are lacking. It should be games you never experienced to keep it interesting. I know my guy Lamb has been wanting an old-school Hitman, but it never wins. There should be a rule where you can't nominate the same games over and over again. Yeah, I hear ya. Honestly, it's, it's disappointing to me because... Um, it's disappointing to me because, like, I give everyone ample opportunity to control the games I play on these marathons. And no one listens to me. Like, I'm like, it's very easy. There's, like, no lie, 15 to 20 people tops who nominate games for these marathons. The patrons, right? There's more patrons than that, but those are probably about 15, 20 people tops who nominate. And the fact that people are like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to ever become part of a, a Patreon because it's just my nomination. Dude, you have no idea. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Every game, what happened? This person just survived the the, uh, the gas, I guess. Yeah. Every person who nominated a game that was available to play, basically that game made it in. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people nominated um, games that I needed to order because they were games that were not digitally available for this marathon. And therefore, because they weren't digitally available, it was too late to order them in time for Christmas. So... There was actually a couple games I had to eliminate. There's probably like eight games total that made it, um, with multiple nominations or whatever. So it's super simple. Like I'm not even kidding you. Pledge to Patreon five dollars or more. Nominate your game's probably gonna get into the voting rounds. If not, make it to the marathon. You know what I mean? But people don't listen to me. Like they're like, oh. No, if I pledge, it's my vote it doesn't matter. My nomination doesn't matter. It's not going to make it. It's not going to count. It's the complete opposite. Like, you have no idea how much power people have. You literally have none. People just, they, they, they don't believe or they take it for granted because they're not current patrons. They don't understand the power they have um, just by doing that. So No, but I hear you, Swaggins. Like, looking at the games that were nominated, I kind of knew what would and wouldn't be interesting. Like, I thought God Hand would be all right. I thought Home Alone 2 would be alright. Street Fighter 5, I thought people would want to see me play it as a gimmick, but I didn't know how to make it interesting because I hadn't played it since September, and I knew with all the balance changes, it would be a waste of time. But people wanted to see it. You see what I mean? It's because I told you guys, I have no money now. Like, I'm not even kidding. I have no money for anything. Um, You know, it's just, it sucks. That, like, basically, I screwed everything up. Like, this month, finances I knew were going to be all messed up. And I was hoping that things would be would go good during holiday events to make up for it. And everything would be all right. And I get to February. Like, I, I, I double paid two bills that I shouldn't have that ended up, like, emptying my bank account. And it's my fault for being so stressed out that I did that. Um, but I did. I double paid two bills like an idiot. So, there's no way to get that money back. That money went towards, uh, you know, credit cards that I owe. And it's great that I have those credit cards to use, but I don't have the money to pay bills now. It's like, oh, fuck. I screwed up, you know, but it's because I've been so fucking... You guys have no idea. I've been so fucking stressed out recently. Like, to my wit's end, stressed out. Can't get sleep some nights and shit. And it's real tough because, you know, it's not just me. It's Cat too. Like, we're really stressed out to the point where she's overworked. I'm overworked. My voice has been all shot and everything. And there's nothing I can do about it. She's like, you know, you're working so much, you sound horrible. I'm like, what do you want me to do? I have to keep working. You know, I have to keep do paying bills and stuff. And what else am I supposed to do? Same thing with her, you know. <clears throat> She's been working way more than normally she would. And taking as many hours as she can. And it sucks that, like, the stress adds up and, and turns into even worse stressful situations. Because the stress builds up and makes me make stupid mistakes like that. Like, why'd I double pay two bills? I'm an idiot. I know that. It's my fault, but... <sighs> now, I'm done drinking, Dark Bit. I'm done drinking for the day. I already was feeling like shit. Like, it was actually making me feel depressed and shit. About people not liking the stream and things being slow and... Things being slow. The future is making me not feel good. If you're drinking and you're not feeling good, that's bad. You should stop drinking immediately. Which is why I stopped. I started drinking an energy drink. I did the right thing. If I kept drinking, I probably would have felt real bad. All right, everyone. So, welcome to the conclusion of my holiday gaming special for 2018. It was rough. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, 
or, or the first two games were pretty good, but as I drank more and more beer, um, <laughs> I got down on myself, especially when I was playing Street Fighter V. Um, I was trying to basically entertain an audience by acting like Bob Ross because I knew that the gameplay wasn't going to be good. But then I came back playing H1Z1 and ended up winning a match. Figure that one out. Um, so I apologize. I certainly didn't uh, drink the entire stream. Um, honestly, I'll be honest with you guys. Like, with the stuff that's been going on in my life recently and everything, I don't think I should be drinking on stream. Um, it, it, you know, I, I actually started to feel down on myself and stuff while I was drinking. I was like, man, this is not a good idea. So I immediately stopped drinking. <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe I should just focus on positivity. And I did. I played H1Z1. I ended up winning a match. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah, and it, just so everyone knows that if people are like, oh, what about the DSP tries it? I mean, we, you really want to do it? We could do it. It's not, I'm telling you right now, that's not going to be great. Like, the whole point behind the DSP tries it was that I was supposed to do it as, like, a, a video that I was going to do off stream and film and edit to be funny and have overreactions and stuff. All right, we'll do it. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Why not? All right, give me a sec. I got to go downstairs and grab it. All right. So, the live holiday DSP tries it. It is. Are you ready? Drum roll. Here we go. <clears throat> it got me again. That's not it either. Alright. I finally got the drum roll. It's... Christmas Crunch, everybody. That's right. It's Captain Crunch's Christmas-themed breakfast cereal. Now, originally what I was going to do, just to let everyone know, I was going to dress up either as Bob Ross or Santa Claus, and I was going to sit in the kitchen and do, like, an edited video where I eat it and I act and everything. And sadly, it didn't work out. Reason being, as you guys know, my voice got all screwed up this past week. So every time I had an opportunity to do it, I couldn't because I sounded terrible. And then I was going to do it last night, and I couldn't because I had almost completely lost my voice. So I had, like, no opportunity in the past week to actually do this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to try it live, all right? Um, here's the thing. I didn't realize this when I bought it. I thought, oh, this will be a great thing for DSP Tries It, right? It'll be a cool thing to try out. And then last night, Kat goes, so you know that that's just regular Captain Crunch, right? And I was like, huh? I grabbed the box and started looking at it. I'm like, oh, shit. All it is, all it is, it's Captain Crunch that shaped like Christmas shapes. That's supposed to be a Christmas tree, I guess. <laughs> That's supposed to be a Christmas tree. Sure it is. And it tastes like a crunch bread. So, what does it taste like? Holiday cheer and magic, yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. I apologize that it really wasn't very good in comparison to, I guess, previous things I've done. You know, basically, when I started the stream off with God Hand and started drinking, I guess people liked it or at least thought it was alright. Then I have to play God Hand for like an hour. People were tired of it. They wanted me to do something else. So then I moved on to uh, Home Alone 2. I was liking it, but the stream viewers were complaining that it was boring and they wanted me to do something else. I think a lot of people wanted me to see me play Street Fighter V. Again, not kind of using your head, realizing, number one, I haven't played Street Fighter V since September, so I'm not going to remember anything about the game, like the characters I was playing. And number two, they changed the whole game. Like, they, they completely changed the balance of the game. So it's a lot different now, and I don't understand any of the changes. So obviously, me playing it out of the blue and not knowing anything um, wasn't going to do very well. And then um, I was trying to be Bob Ross, basically, during it. Which lasted a whole, like, 40 minutes. And then I got it was just so upset how bad the game is. You know, I really... I, I'm sorry, but... You know, I'm not going to go into detail. But Street Fighter V is such a major disappointment for someone like me. Who, I grew up with Street Fighter. I love the franchise. And up to now, they've always put so much time and attention into every iteration of Street Fighter. This is really the first one that I feel they just didn't care. They just wanted to make money. And the game is not competitively good. So... You know, that kind of, it, it really saddened me. And I'll be very honest with you guys. Like, I thought today people would come out uh, who I hadn't seen. And people would be very like, super supportive. And not to say you guys weren't. Some people were come out and being supportive. But I thought that I would have, like, a, you know, a bunch of people getting festive and active. And, and really didn't happen. It more ended up being kind of just a, a, a more, 
normal stream, if not even a little slow. And it made me feel kind of depressed with all the stuff going on behind the scenes with me. Um, and then the alcohol got to me. You know, the liquor hit me that, damn, I feel kind of shitty. I feel depressed because I was thinking it would be the polar opposite. People would be festive and active and want to come out and hang out with me. Even if the games were very good, it was kind of the opposite where people were kind of like, this sucks. And I was like, damn, that sucks. It sucks trying to do something special, you know, going out of my way, hyping it, dressing up, trying to plan stuff for it, dressing up like Bob Ross and everything. And then it ends up being kind of a dud. So I apologize for that, you know. Um, I'm actually glad I stopped drinking. Because that's the thing, and I've learned this from experience. If you're drinking and you're feeling bad, that's the opposite effect you're supposed to have. It is a depressant. It is a downer when you drink alcohol. It's meant to be that. Um, but if you're starting to feel, like, bad or negative, that's when you need to stop. Because you're just going to get worse. If you keep drinking, it's just going to make you feel worse and worse. That's why I stopped. And now, actually, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling good. I, you know, the liquor's kind of passed through my system. I'm actually feeling a lot better now that I did H1Z1 and got out of my system. So, <clears throat> uh, fair enough. Grayson says, well, maybe people are just busy with the holidays. No, I hear you. But w when I do stuff like this, I have to directly compare it to previous performance. And last year, even though people told me the games I played during the Christmas Marathon were shitty... Um, the Christmas Marathon was very successful. People came out and hung out. The viewership was good. The support was good. This year, it's like slow. And that's not good. You know? I need to at least maintain a level. And basically, I didn't even maintain the level I had. That's not good, you know? Um, and it's sad to me that I, you know, I really did work to try to build this up and make it something special. And I failed, you know? But that's life. You have, you have victories. You have failures. Today's a failure. You move on, right? You push forward. You try to have a victory tomorrow. And that's what I'm going to try to do. But the other metric is, you know, did I succeed in my goals financially? And the answer is no. I was hoping that this this holiday event would make people come out and be supportive. Because like I told you guys, right now I'm not in a good place at all. And even though it looks like if I can last a few months till February, then I'll at least be in a better position. Not great. You know, I'm still, I still haven't done well enough for myself to, for example, pay my taxes and stuff in April. Um, and not to say that I need it by February. I don't. I need it by April. But financially right now things are terrible and i thought that holiday event like last year would, would get people out and it didn't and so what i could say is did i have fun yeah i did did you guys have fun maybe 50 50 but did i succeed in what i was out to do no you know and that's what makes it a little bit sad